Thickgoers, have you noticed your friend or family member acting kind of strange lately? Perhaps they've avoided your calls and messages or have been lashing out at others for no apparent reason. These sudden changes in behavior might be because they're struggling with a mental health problem. The stigma around mental health can sometimes make people afraid to reach out for help or support. They may be struggling to cope with daily life and have no way to voice how they feel. So to help you look out for some of the signs that someone may be struggling, here are eight signs someone is battling mental health problems. Before we begin, we'd like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only. Do not use information in this or any other video to self-diagnose or diagnose other people. If you feel that you or someone close to you may possess some of the characteristics mentioned in this and need help, then please consult a licensed mental health professional. This video is not a substitute for professional advice, but for general guidance. Number one, fatigue or a loss of energy. Do you always feel tired? Depression and chronic fatigue syndrome are two illnesses that can leave you feeling drained and exhausted, even after a full night's rest. It's easy to confuse exhaustion with depression and vice versa, and also quite possible to experience both conditions at the same time. While it's common to feel tired after doing an activity, it may become a cause for concern if you notice yourself constantly experiencing a loss of energy. Number two, feeling detached. Have you been feeling disconnected from yourself and your environment? Some mental illnesses are characterized by extreme isolation, abandonment of friends and social networks, and emotional detachment. For some people, being emotionally detached helps protect them from unwanted drama, anxiety, or stress. For others, detachment may not be voluntary. Instead, it may be the product of events that prevent them from being open and truthful about their feelings. Number three, markedly diminished interest of pleasure in almost all activities. Are you bored or uninterested in things you used to really enjoy? People who experience anhedonia, which is the inability to feel pleasure in normally pleasurable activities, may lose interest in the activities that they used to like doing and have a decreased ability to feel pleasure. It's a core symptom of major depressive disorder, but it can also be a symptom of other mental health disorders. Number four, insomnia or hypersomnia, excessive sleeping. How much sleep do you usually get? Sleep and mental health are closely related, such that sleep deficiency can end up harming your mental and emotional well-being. People with mental health problems are more likely to have insomnia or other sleep disorders. Excessive sleeping, sleeping too little, beyond usual fatigue could be some signs that indicate mental health illnesses. Number five, sudden changes in mood from being joyful to being irritable, angry, and hostile. Does your mood change a lot? Is it easy for you to get frustrated and upset Extreme mood swings, such as uncontrollable highs or feelings of euphoria, as well as irritability, can be indicators of mental illness. You may want to notify a medical professional or seek help if you or someone you know are experiencing these severe and regular mood swings. Number six, repeated actions or checking things many times. Is there a routine you have to complete before leaving the house? Do you experience urges that you have to fulfill? Whether it's repeatedly checking whether the gas stove is off constantly hand washing, or to check if the doors are locked. These obsessive thoughts can sometimes be unwanted and done out of fear that something bad will happen if you don't complete the routine. These compulsive rituals may be a way for you to cope with the anxiety or fears you may be feeling. Number seven, significant changes in appetite. Has there been a large change in your eating habit? Whether it's having a sudden lack of appetite or the tendency to overeat, where the need to eat is unrelated to physical hunger. These changes in appetite may be an indicator that you're struggling to cope with some anxiety or inner turmoil that you're experiencing. Those who purposefully reduce the amount of food they eat or overwork their bodies because of a deep fear of gaining weight may also suffer from mental health issues. And number eight, recurring thoughts of death or suicide. Having suicidal thoughts is a hallmark symptom of major depression and depressive episodes in bipolar disorder and several other mental health disorders. Suicidal ideation may be passive where you're frequently thinking about death but not acting on these thoughts, or aggressive, where you're acting on these thoughts or making plans to act on your suicidal thoughts. If you're experiencing recurring thoughts of death or suicide, know that you're not alone. It's important to seek immediate help and professional guidance and support. We've added a list of hotlines in the description below. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification button